Okay, hello there viewers. So let's continue our series on how to sketch a graph. Okay, for this video, we'll be looking for exponential graph. Okay, so let's begin. Let's look at the theory first. Now, what happened if I input the x with the values? You can see over here. When I put e power of 0, I get myself as 1. When as I put as x as a negative numbers, the number gets very, very small until we can say approaching 0. But it's not really equals to 0. It's just approaching 0. And over here, if I put x as positive numbers, you can see the values increase pretty much very quickly 2.718, 7.38 and suddenly 20.1 it increased very quickly so I can summarize it as something like this e power of negative x is approaching 0 but not really 0 when e power of 0 is equals to 1 and finally when e positive numbers is increased very quickly in fact I can say it's increased exponentially you can use this for English essays alright so how does the graph looks like well, it looks something like this. It's increased. Uh, I mentioned before, e power of 0 is 1. And then when it goes to the negative, it's just approaching 0, but it never reaches 0, which we write down something like this, asym asymptote at y equals to 0. Okay, because the value of y can, can never be 0. It's just approaching 0. And then when x is positive numbers, then it just rises very quickly. Okay? The domain for this graph is all rational, all real numbers because when x is negative or x is positive, I can always get a graph and the range is from 0 to infinity because you can see over here that there's no negative graph it won't reach the graph anywhere but for the range, it's a close bracket for 0 I want to ask you why is it close bracket because as I mentioned just now I can never reach 0, it's just approaching 0 as I mentioned here it's just approaching 0 so once it's approaching then we only have a symptote y equals to 0 so that's why this is an open bracket ok, hopefully you get the concept well, I would like to show you the similarities between the exponent and what happens if 2 power of x or basically a positive number power of x well, we kind of get the same trend, as I mentioned just now, approaching 0, 1, and when x positive is increasing. So the graph of numbers to the power of positive numbers to the power of x is the same graphs as the exponential graph. In fact, you can say that exponent is the value of exponent, where e is actually equals to, well, you can see here, 2.718. To add, to add, to add. Yeah, it's, it's one of the irrational numbers that you can never, never have sorry I missed my 2 never have a final value alright so if you got this kind of question where your positive numbers power of x you know how to draw the graph ok so now let's continue what about if you try this way where e power of negative x plus 3 and there's a negative 3 over here Basically, you need to shift up and shift down if you have done the previous videos. So, it will look something like this. Alright. Okay, uh, there's some interesting fact here. Yes, you can say just now that we cross at 1, now it becomes 4. 1 plus 3 is 4 and 1 negative 3 is negative 2. Okay. You can see it shift up and shift down and so as the asymptote is just now it's asymptote y equals to 0 now y 0 plus 3 it becomes 3 and just now the asymptote is 0 negative 3 it equals down there and yeah uh, for this one here there's a cross over there so you can say for this value y is 0 well you, you can find it for this value y is 0 let y equals to 0 so 0 sorry equals to E x negative 3 that be a bit difficult so 3 E x and you ln both sides so x equals 2 ln 3 so you can see hey this is ln 3 if you want to have a perfect graph but if you just want to find a domain in range that's how we got it uh, for the range of this since right now the asymptote is 3 so now we increase the range from 3 to infinity remember right now it never touched 3 for this kind of case uh, yeah, the asymptote is negative 3 until infinity. So we can say that the range of um, this graph is you need to find the asymptote for you to be able to calculate the range. Okay? Now, the one more interesting fact that I got quite late in my life that you can see since I plus 3 here, now this one becomes asymptote y equals to 3. Since I minus 3 over here, I got the asymptote as y equals to negative 3. 
So yeah, this one will actually tell you where's the asymptote. In fact, for our original graph, e is power of ex, I can say it's ex plus zero for me to get the asymptote y equals to zero. Okay, hopefully you get that idea, which I find it to be quite interesting. Now, before I continue to other graph of negative exponent, well, I want you to have a revisit on the third graph, a square root graph. Remember when this one is all positive, I got here, the negative inside, so I flip to the left. When negative is outside, I flip to the down, and when the negative from both, so I'll come to the fourth quadrant. Okay? So now, our exponent graph is quite similar to our, our square root graph. As you can see here, when all of them are positive, the graph goes like here, same goes with this one. I mean, you just go to this, that quadrant. So what happened if I have a negative? Needless to say, the range and the domain ray remain the same. Okay, let's continue. Now, if there's a negative outside, okay, the negative like this one, if for, for the square root, it just flips to down. So if there's a negative here, so it flips down. Why is that? Well, no matter whatever results that you get, this negative will always give you positive answer into the negative. So that's why it flips down. Okay, uh, the domain and range for this one, the domains are real numbers, and the range is negative infinity until zero. Yeah, I mean, don't write it wrong. Don't say zero until negative infinity. You need to flip it out. Okay. Now, what happens if it's a double negative? So the square root it goes over here to the fourth quadrant. So the same for same goes for the exponent when there's a double negative there. So it goes over here. Okay. Uh, so basically, that what I can say is for your clear reviews. If there's a negative outside, then you need to remember, firstly, you need to remember the exponent graph. If there's negative outside, so it flips down. If there's a negative on this side, this left, so it flips to the left. Okay? So the total grand view will actually look something like this. So you can see e power of x, e power of negative x, negative e x and negative e negative x when there's a double negative there yeah there, there are memorizing method but i just prefer this way which i think is easy for me oh my god what is this <laughs> let me try it a bit properly this is actually orange and my pen is running out pink as well all real numbers and yeah there's a few interesting facts that you can see that all of them share the asymptote as y equals to 0 because they, they can't reach 0. And as you can see as well, all the domains are real numbers. So they yeah, share that similarities. And for the range, yeah, just they're just near approaching 0. So that's where we got ourselves the asymptote y equals to 0. Okay. Now for some quiz. Okay. So let's try this one. e power of negative x. Eh, sorry, negative e power of x plus 5. Okay, you may pause the video, try and sketch and the graph and find the domain and range. Okay, are you done? Are you ready for the answers? So, let's begin. So, firstly, when I do this one, I find e power of x first. So, I draw the graph in this way. So, asymptote remain y equals to 0. And then, I make it a little bit complicated. I put the negative there. So, what happened to the negative? It flips down in this case because it's negative outside. So, it flips down. Okay, I'm still right. The asymptote y equals to 0. I think I sort of miss it. Let's put it there. Asim. Oopsie. Wrong spelling. But oh well. You got the idea. Now what happened if I plus 5? Well plus 5 will always shift up in this case. It shifted up like this. Okay. So instead of y equals to 0 as the asymptote. Now the asymptote y equals to 5. Remember this value here. This value here can become the asymptote. Okay, shift up, and since this now it intersect a negative one, now it goes to four, and that's your domain, and that's your range. The domain is all real numbers, and the range is negative infinity until five, because the maximum value can go to five. Well, this value here you can find easily. You can let 
this one here y equals to zero so neg uh, zero equals to negative e power x plus five e x equals to five so you learn both sides x equals to ln five you can see here is ln five okay but it depends if you just want the domain and range you don't really need the intercept but if you're doing for the cross sketch the graph so you need it all right so that's all please comment share like and subscribe and thank you for watching if you have any questions just leave your comment and i'll answer them don't worry okay thank you guys bye